Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time I wanted to do an update on a video I did uh, middle of July talking about the Serbian situation that is uh, kind of ongoing. We should have gotten some type of update in the last month, but so far it's been kind of crickets and I really wanted to take the opportunity to let you guys know what I've been able to find out. If you're not familiar what's happening, I'll leave a card at the end of this video to bring you up to speed as to what happened uh, in July. But essentially what has happened is due to some, I would say, election shenanigans, uh, there has been an export ban of firearms from Serbia. There's been some issues between Serbia and Kosovo. There's been some issues between the United States and Serbia. There's some sanctions that have been put on. So uh, basically the president said due to the uh, security situation in Serbia, they're going to halt all export firearm shipments for 30 days, and that was as of July 14th. 30 days later, we still hadn't heard anything. But one of the things that I did want to talk about real quick is what has been Zastava's response to it, and that's something that I have to really commend them. Now, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about Zastava. I personally really do like them. I've had several rifles uh, or pistols uh, from them and have really enjoyed not only the fit and finish of their work, their craftsmanship, but also their price point as well has been exceptional in my point of view. But one of the things that really impressed me about Zastava is immediately following the announcement of the president, the Serbian president, uh, Zastava came out on July 20th and said, hey, look, here's the thing. We are not going to exploit the situation to make more money. And I really appreciate that. We have seen other companies in the past where there has been some type of situation. They jack up prices to make more money because people are starting to panic. And to see Zastava come out and say, not only are we not going to withhold inventory to artificially inflate the market, but we're also not going to increase price as well. I thought that was really stand up of them uh, to do. And um, I just really appreciate a company coming out and doing that ahead of time. So good job on them. But I did get a comment here in the last, I would say week or so. And uh, someone was asking, hey, what's the update on this? You know, it's been 30 days and we just want to make sure what uh, we've got going on. Is this going to be prolonged? So on and so forth. And that's something that's kind of interesting because I did reach out to Zastava. I have a contact with them and I wanted to make sure I understood what was going on. And they, they got back to me and I would really do appreciate my contact over there. What has been said is um, the fact that the export ban was announced in July with no guarantee of expiration date. Now, the president did say that there was a 30-day export ban, but I think that that probably has been expanded since then because of the security situation. The uh, sales and marketing director went on to say, the official stance of the government is currently that it can be prolonged as necessary and all shipments are on a case-by-case -case basis depending on the security situation. As you know, security situations in the Balkans can change like the Chicago weather. So we are doing the best to keep up on what's going on. And that is pretty much what I expected to hear from them as far as a security situation in the Balkans. Uh, again, I do appreciate Ben for sharing that information with us. And it seems that uh, this is going to be prolonged for the near future. And hopefully we can figure out some type of resolution on that uh, as quickly as possible. With that being said, uh, I am hopeful that uh, we can get this figured out quickly. Uh, but if we start getting into, say, late October, November, December, and nothing has changed, then um, that's going to be very concerning. But you guys know as much as I do now, and I just wanted to share that tidbit with you guys to make sure that you are aware of what is happening 
with Zestavo. Again, I really do like their products. Uh, I really have loved their M70 and their M90. The next video that I'm going to post is about my experience so far with the uh, M90. I've got about, um, I'd say about 250, 300 rounds through it so far, and I have really, really enjoyed it. We'll touch base on that in the next video to show you all the different things that I've done with it or haven't done with it. <laughs> With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If you haven't already, uh, please go ahead and interact with this video in some way, whether it be a thumbs up, a comment, share, whatever the case may be. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you guys to do that as well. Really would appreciate it. As always, here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. We'll catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.